Hello, goddess, and welcome to this week's Thankful to Thrive Thursday. How are you? Let me know you've stopped by. Drop an emoji or just a hi. How are you? How you doing? Hello, I was here. <laughs> I love to hear that you were here. With that, my name is Rochelle Richard, and here at Empowerment Experiences, we are looking for and finding our power all along this, which is each our own self-love empowerment journey. And for so many of us, we find ourselves on what I call a healing twin flames journey, because that's very much what a twin flame journey is. It's a healing journey because a twin flame journey is a self-love empowerment journey. It's all about coming home to you, goddess. And today on this Thankful to Thrive Thursday, we are anchoring in to gratitude for all that is this journey, for all the growth that we have achieved, for all the learning, all the deeper understanding, all the shifting, all the healing we have achieved so far. You're not the same person that you once were, goddess. And some days it may feel as though you're not making any progress because you are purging so much. I promise you, it does get better. It does. All of this is releasing all that is not you as you continue to step into what you reveal that is you. So be grateful that this journey, no matter how excruciatingly painful it can be at times, it's all growing pains. And that growth is bringing you back home to who you truly are with each and every passing day. With that, let's dive in to the cards, shall we? I know, again, it, this week it just, it feels very weird. Um, things feel, you know, just energetically strange. But then again, well, we're in this wonderful great awakening journey, so things are going to feel strange, weird, different, unfamiliar, which, well, in that unfamiliar space, in that space of uncertainty, that's where the magic really happens. That's where the magic is because you're no longer trying, right? Trying to control your experience in the way that you cannot control it. You can only have an impact and influence over your experience by coming from the inside out, not from the outside in. And this is why this healing journey is so important because it's reconnecting you with you. Your true power. So with that, for this Thankful to Thrive Thursday, what is it that, wow, my goodness, they got lots to say today, huh? What is it that we are being asked? Well, it is about that expansion. It is about that growth. We are here to learn, grow, expand, and ascend. And you know the phrase, wrap your mind around it? Think about, ponder what has to happen in order for you to be able to wrap your mind around something. So your mind is like this. You have to expand it. You have to expand that understanding. You have to expand in the revealing of the knowing that's already within you. And allow for that knowing within you to rise up, allow for yourself to receive love and guidance and support along this journey. That's what also happens as you're expanding, as you're expanding your consciousness, you're expanding your energy capacity in the sense that you're shifting that perspective. You are 
allowing yourself to experience things you might not have experienced before. And one of those things being, yes, your healing journey. Seeing these parts of yourself as this twin flame journey does for us, right? Forces you to see parts of yourself that you may have once thought you didn't need to heal. Or that you didn't have to heal. It helps you to grow stronger. It helps you grow stronger in who you are, stronger in the ability to pivot your focus, stronger in the knowing that everything that has happened in your life has happened for you, not to you. For you to grow stronger as you continue along this journey of expansion. So be gentle with yourself, especially in these most excruciating times where, yeah, your strength is being tested very much so. Starting to work out at a gym is really such an incredible perspective, uh, uh, something to reference when you look at when you're building that strength, right? You have to keep pushing through it keep moving forward and recognize that that pain that you're feeling in that moment that pain as you're pushing and lifting just two more times two more lifts you've got it and then you get on the other side of that and you're like oh my god I'm so glad I did and you're so much more expanded because you're so much stronger than what you were before it's like the analogy that I reference this self-love empowerment journey to be like, which is that, that hills and valleys, hills and valleys, hills and valleys. And whenever you find yourself in that valley space where you feel as though you can't crawl out of it, you feel as though the walls are closing in and you don't know where your power is, you feel overwhelmed, you're just looking for where your power is. And the first thing to do is to take a breath and love yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Start to really look at how you're talking to yourself, how you're talking about yourself. Because in those times of extreme pain, one of the greatest strengths that you're building in that moment is loving yourself. You are expanding your capacity to love yourself. The stronger you grow, the stronger you grow, the stronger you are. So be gentle with yourself when it feels like you don't have the strength to keep going. That's the time when you just take that breath and take that space for yourself. Keep pushing through when you need. And the first moment you have on the other side of that, take that downtime, take that breather. Hmm? Be gentle with yourself. Find your brave, connect with that courage within to keep going, to believe in you, goddess, to believe in you. I believe in you and I don't even know who you are, but I tell you right now, I believe in you because I know you are capable of anything and everything that you desire to achieve. And the moment you believe in you too, that's when you better believe your strength grows. The strength and the knowing in yourself that you do have this allowing yourself to see how strong you are because allowing yourself to see your strength, to see your courage, that's what's going to allow these things to expand, to further expand within yourself and in your life. It just, I, I'm gonna share with you again, it just feels so interesting right now like I feel well 
it might be because of the workout today. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that that wasn't uh, intense. Plus, little the little love bug in my life, she, uh, she's not feeling so well right now. Has this crazy dry cough, and I, as you know, I recently had it was mucusy first it was dry then it was mucusy from my sinus drainage and it was all aller allergy triggered however it was also the underlying spiritual side of things right and oh definitely that so right now you're double missioned right especially as twin flames you're here to both heal yourself and as you heal yourself you heal the collective you're here to both learn to love yourself and as you learn to love yourself you in turn truly lead by example when it comes to loving others and loving yourself remember that that true love can only begin within it has to begin with you begin with you stop overthinking it though that's one of the big things that we do to ourselves we do it to ourselves is we overthink it am I doing it right I'm doing something wrong I feel like shit I'm purging it doesn't make sense I'm supposed to feel good all the time what's going on no if everything in this journey was always so smooth and so easy then we would never grow goddess we would never grow so when you find yourself in these painful spaces, and here's the thing as someone who was once misdiagnosed bipolar, was, and I just caught 1141, by the way, we're going to visit that one. As someone who was misdiagnosed bipolar and pumped full of drugs, turned into a zombie, made to be totally disconnected from myself, I'm here to tell you right now that when you come home to yourself, you begin to recognize the importance of your human emotion spectrum. You begin to then honor that. You recognize that it is so important to release those lower vibrational states of being, the guilt, the blame, the shame, the anger that we've had recently. We just had the anger, right, on Twin Flame Tuesday. And we've been taught societally that it's so bad to be angry. It's so bad to express your emotions when they're not nice. And so what do we do? We suppress and we repress. Well, that means all of that is bottled up inside you. And you've been doing that for most of your life. So when you finally wake up, and I mean wake up, I'm not talking broke woke. I mean when you truly begin to awaken all of that which has never been you or never been yours to carry starts to finally come up from its hidden spaces and places within you so it can be released. And so often it's fugly, it's painful, you feel overwhelmed because for the first time in your life, you're truly letting yourself feel shit that you never let yourself feel. And a lot of times, and I, I experience this with multiple clients, with a, it's a regular thing. When we start to really get beneath those layers and dig in and release this, shit comes up and it's overwhelming and you just, oh, you want to give up completely. But this is when you come back to, again, that analogy that I said about lifting the weights. You push and then you love yourself and then you cheer yourself. You say, oh my God, that was so painful and I'm so exhausted and I'm so drained and you know what? My eyeballs are dry, my throat hurt, whatever it is, if it's something painful and I'm using the reference because of the legs hurting or the arms hurting when you work out and you push you know, to that next level just enough that you're holding that space for yourself to further expand. Because here's the thing, again, referencing lifting weights, you know, muscle building, strength training. You, if you just only ever do, we'll say the five pound dumbbells, right? If you only ever do five pounds and you keep going and that's all you ever do, then you're never actually going to grow stronger. You'll maintain 
the strength of where you're at, but you won't actually expand. You won't grow. So this is why it's, it's finding that balance between when to pause and when to push. Right, and that's what this journey is also teaching you, goddess. This is why this card, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking it, right? It's only in that moment when you're like, okay, I just did 10 squats and boy, squats number eight, nine, and 10. I don't know how I was gonna make it up from those. So next round, it's like, you know what? Since it was, it was such a push for me to do the last round, I'm not going to add weight and I'm going to see if I can do a little bit more, right? And a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. It doesn't have to be a lot more, just a little bit. But that's the thing is if you expand just a little bit, a little bit and a little bit, because the ego every time is going to think your butt out of it. It's gonna think yourself right out of it. Even for me getting back into the gym, because I used to lift weights competitively. You can't tell it, however, I have to say, my, my muscle memory is coming back, especially on my arms. My arms are like, ooh, thank you. I've been waiting on that, right? I'm getting my legs and my tush. You know, I've ha I have a very lazy butt. That's literally, <laughs> it just hangs, that it just hangs out. <laughs> and, uh, but getting back into that gym, it's, that space of recognizing that it before I did my mind was overthinking it and overthinking going oh my god I'm gonna be so sore all the time it's gonna just take so much time it's gonna be so not fun and well here we are and I'm having a blast working out with my soul sister Jess and she's my love bugs mom we've known each other for years and then I have a new soul sister we just met a couple months ago she actually works out at the it's EOS is where I'm going. I really like them. And I have an EOS gym literally a half a mile or so down the street from my house. Lo and behold, one of my new goddess sisters that just we just reunited, she works out at that gym. The same company and I can go to both gyms with my membership now. So it's just what? So beautifully, divinely aligned. But that was it also, is that had I forced myself six months ago when I was totally in this space, I was literally thinking myself out of it constantly, it wouldn't have been fun. And even my, my soul sister Jess agreed. We were talking about this very thing today at the gym. And she's like, you, you wouldn't have been fun. And she's very right. If I would have allowed my ego to also instead on the opposite say, well, <laughs> you need to go work out anyway because your butt is droopy and you don't have no muscles showing in your thighs and remember i used to lift competitively so i i had de muscle definition very much so and right so i could have done it from a place of feeling guilty of judgment of even even self-loathing right because that self-loathing has been a major theme in my life okay so i could have done that but rather instead, I held that space for myself. I was kind with myself. And when I truly was ready, which was just last Monday, last Wednesday, Wednesday was when I started last Wednesday with her. Like I said, I am loving it now. Love it. Okay, so that's what you're being asked right now, goddess, is to hold that space for yourself, to know when to push, and when to just pause. So it's push or pause. Don't pull, don't pull. That's, that's that lack. So it's, it's to push yourself. It's to go ahead and push through the blocks, push through the barriers, push through the pain. Keep going. Oh, there's a quote in my 17 day self-love empowerment challenge by Bar Bartholomew that says, um, it, and I'm going to paraphrase this, that says, we are so afraid to feel the pain or because we're afraid that that's what we're going to feel is more pain. However, we've already had that pain. We've already endured the initial wounding, but by us ignoring that wound and choosing to not address it 
and thereby heal it, that wound continues to remain infected and therefore it continues to remain a detriment to you, to your health, to your overall well-being of self, right? So it is about finding that courage to really allow yourself to grow, to expand, to trust that you are held, you are loved, you are supported, and that, darling, you are already doing it just by being you. So be kind with yourself, know when to push and know when to pause. Okay, that's definitely a strength you are developing, is that discernment, right? Wow, I feel like we are zipping along. It's such an interesting, oh my, and then we just had 543 on here. So we're gonna take that little screenshot there and we will have that as well. Let's see here. Where am I at? Oh yeah. Angel number 1141, which was a recent one as well. Um, 1141, be in the frequency of L-O-V-E. Love. Never give up. Keep moving forward. And that's so, again, so in alignment with what I'm saying. You know, it's that moment when it feels like everything is lost. All hope is lost. And you're just... It's your last, your last set, and you're just not sure you're gonna make it. You're not sure you can do it. Don't give up. Give yourself the benefit of belief, not benefit of the doubt. No, give yourself the benefit of belief that you are strong enough. Find your brave to rise for yourself, for yourself. And again, don't be overthinking it, all right? You have all you need to achieve your goals and dreams. Stand in your power of you. Cultivate love and confidence toward yourself. And 543, oh my goodness, be your true self, live accordingly. Self-expression. Be open to receive opportunities aligned with your passions, personal freedom. You attract who you are, so be aligned with what you desire. So just like myself of getting back into the gym, allowing that, and again, everything just fell into place, right? It was allowing myself to organically and mentally, right? Organically get there mentally, emotionally, physically and such to get to that place and say, yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. I mean, I'm ready as I'm gonna be. So now it's the point of going, now what's my excuse? Nothing, nothing, right? So here we are. You figure out what the outcome is that you desire, what you want to grow in, what you want to expand in, what you wanna be stronger in, and start to make your way in that path. Like for me, I was doing the dumbbells here at home. I was doing, and it was intermittent. It was not consistent. However, it was still that space of doing my yoga stretches, doing these things, feeling it calling to me, just like the whole jog walking thing that I started a couple years ago. And admittedly, it's been a moment since I've gone on a jog walk. <laughs> In like a couple months, I was doing that middle of the night thing. And then the allergies, the pollen got just too much for me. Oh, that's what it was. It got hot, even at 3.30 in the morning, because I live in the desert, so things get mighty hot out here. That said, right, it was just going through all of that process of going, no, that's not really what I'm looking for now. No, that's not really what I'm looking for now. And now here we are, back at the gym, exactly what I'm looking for. And I have workout partners, not just one, but two. Two. Technically, I have three, if you count my little buddy, Kobe. Um, he's four and a half, as I've mentioned before, and he and I, we officially have a thing. Every Monday when I watch him, he's my little buddy, I'm telling you. Every Monday, um, we like to go out on a Christmas lights adventure around the neighborhood. And I'm talking, it's a large, like we went for an hour and a half Monday night. He'll ride his little three-wheel scooter 
and I ride my rollerblades, which I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily a novice. However, I am not an expert, right? Uh, how, but I am definitely good enough at roller rollerblading that he can be zipping along quick, fast, and I can keep up with him. Like we are such the perfect little pair <laughs> out and about wheeling our way or just our way around the neighborhoods just checking out all the Christmas lights just going up and down the streets and having so much fun and this week again we went for an hour and a half it was so long that my butt was hurting from all the rollerblading and I'm like yes so I'm getting that workout in and I love to rollerblade right so that's definitely something uh, that's definitely something to be tapping into within yourself move your body goddess because this is the thing as well that's going to assist with the releasing of this energy that has been trapped within your body it is the thing that is going to assist and support your journey of expansion and thereby your journey of ascension it is the thing that is going to empower you to grow stronger still to feel more courageous more trusting in your own ability your own body your own self and that's what this is about goddess again you coming back home to you so with that here we have the divine masculine messages or message, whatever that may be. I know we've had just a single card all the way up to a few cards before, right? And when I do the Divine Masculine message, it is again the Divine Masculine, right? The higher self masculine, not the wounded ego-based masculine that your divine counterpart may be in, that energy he may be in, right? This is the Divine Masculine in him, around him of him that is conveying a message to you with regard to what you are being asked to focus on to further along not just your journey but his journey and of course your twin flame journey okay so that is what this is and that was also why i've taken a pause on the masculine monday messages I do feel, as I've mentioned before, those are going to be returning in one way, shape, or, or, or form. It's just right now, it's about getting stable with where you are. You not being so hung up on, what's he gonna say to me? What's the Divine Masculine have to say? What's my message? I need to know, I need to know. Because that's perpetuating that lack. Anything that you need implies lack. Right, so it's about getting stable, getting grounded, getting anchored into your power before he's gonna come back around and really have something to say. And that's why he's taking that refuge because it is about each of the counterparts taking this time to heal these major wounds, to heal the things that need healing that are completely detrimental to the connection because they're detrimental to the both of you and they're detrimental to especially you because it's in you so this is why we take that refuge time is to go within to be reconnecting with your true self and that's exactly where we are especially with these holidays right now take Definitely take advantage of the time off for those who may have it. Spend the time with your family, but be sure, be sure to spend time with yourself. To acknowledge that without you, there is no your life. And therefore, you really truly are the most important person in your life because it's your Life, I reiterate, Goddess, if there is no you, then there is no your life. Therefore, you are the most important piece, the most important component, the most important person in your life. So that's what it is. It's about, again, you getting 
you getting grounded, finding stability, emotional stability, mental stability, um, spiritual stability, and yes, physical stability. This is why I have the goddess parties and I'm so often, you know, telling the goddesses, come on, y'all better be up and moving, shake that booty, go, 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 right? Because it's supposed to be a party where we're having fun and raising our vibrations, right? So take care of yourself, goddess. Even if it's something so simple as just having a little rug and you just start stretching, start stretching, okay? And I'm telling you, you gotta check out the goddess parties. They're free, by the way. You can uh, purchase an upgraded ticket, which puts you in a give back giveaway drawing uh, because every portion, well, every portion, $5.55 of the ticket, which is three fourths of the ticket, goes paid forward to our rescue. It is the modern day Underground Railroad for the real pandemic in this world, which is human trafficking, in particular, child sex trafficking. It's kind of one of those things that make you go, hmm, why isn't that broadcasted all over the mainstream media, huh? Huh? Why not? And what about the former president who, I'm not a political person, however, from my personal experience as a business owner and an American, was by far the best president that we've ever had under in my life. I, I sure do miss $2 a gallon gas. Holy crikeys. Oh, but that man also created executive orders to combat human trafficking. But you don't hear about that. Everybody's been brainwashed to believe he's so horrible. Huh. Hmm. Again, things that make you go, hmm. But this is why you will also find me always encouraging you to question everything. Question everything. Everything. Especially those things that just don't quite make sense. Like, <clears throat> what's currently unfolding in the world right now? Hmm. I digress, goddess. I digress. Remember, remember to hold that space for yourself. Okay? It is okay to pause, and it's definitely okay to push, to push through, because right now it is that rebirth space. One of my clients is like, it, I am, the birthing pains are excruciating right now, but that's it. I mean, I keep hearing today for whatever reason, no pain, no gain. I do keep hearing that, no pain, no gain. And it's really getting to the point of asking yourself, what is more painful, staying where I am? Where I'm not happy, I'm uncomfortable, I'm unhealthy, I'm, I, I just, my body hurts and all these things versus the pain of stepping out of that and committing to the things that are going to get you where you want to go. That's where you push. Right? And again, on that journey, there will be that pause because it's that strength training. Sometimes you push like again, my <laughs> I hadn't done squats, just good old fashioned squats with a barbell in years. And boy, could I feel it, especially my left hip. <laughs> I'm like, okay, if I do that again, my hip might give out kind of thing. I'm like, wait a minute. That tells me everything I need to know about where I am physically in terms of, again, I used to be a professional, a competitive weightlifter. I did the Junior Olympics. I went to the Junior Olympics when I was in high school in weightlifting, okay? And I know that was a whole lifetime ago. However, it's still that going, wow, I enjoyed being in that state. I love, you know, seeing muscle definition on my body. So it's like, okay, that's the outcome I desire. I'm gonna choose that pain, the pain of changing. 
So I produce a different outcome versus the pain of staying the same and constantly going, ugh, I wish, I wish. Well, stop wishing. Let's go. All right? So that's where you are, goddess. That's where we are. Okay? Continue to step out of that box. Continue to honor yourself. And above all else right now, be grateful for all of that which is helping you to grow stronger in every level, in all facets of your life. Because I promise you, it's for the best. Because you fucking deserve the best. And it's your turn to know that. So give yourself the benefit of believing in yourself. And let's fucking do this. Okay? I am here for you, goddess. I haven't mentioned it in a moment. I do definitely offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can book one to see. We can talk about where you are, what your greatest challenge is. And I guarantee you, you will walk away feeling more empowered than you came. You will walk away knowing that you have a plan to put into action, to create the outcome that you desire because it's all about looking for your power and finding it so you can continue to rise and thrive on your journey. And that's what I love to do. Oh, with that, dear goddess, thank you so much for joining me on this Thankful to Thrive Thursday. I will drop that link, by the way, to book your session. I do 30 minute or 75 minute sessions. That is at IamEmpowered.as.me. Again, that link will be down below. Be sure to also come join my free goddess tribe on Telegram. And again, comment, let me know you stop by because I will certainly say hi. And with that, I leave you as I always do with reminding you that the power power of believing, the power of creating whatever life you desire, the power of healing, the power of being a strong ass bitch. That power, it's in your hands because it has always been inside you. Namaste.